Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. I wanna show you guys a product that I found on Redodo's website. This is their DC hub. Now what this allows you to do is connect up to your car battery or a standalone battery like this, either 12 volts or 24 volts, and it gives you all these DC connections. For example, you have a power button, you have a 12 volt socket with 5521 barrel connections, you have a display that shows the voltage of the battery, you have six USB ports, including two standard 2.4 amp ports, two quick charge ports, and two USB-C power delivery ports rated at 45 watts. Now this is really simple to use. You have the extension cable that comes in the box that connects up to your battery, and it's 15 feet long, and then it plugs into the bottom of the DC hub. So if you're looking for only DC loads, this might be a good alternative to an actual power station. Now the DC hub is currently priced at $130 on Redodo's website. I'll include the link down in the video description so you guys can check that out. Now it's really easy to connect up. I have the positive and negative connected up to the battery. I've plugged it in here on the bottom. You push the power button and it actually turns on. Now one really cool thing about it is it has this plate that you can mount to any hard surface and then this slides in and mounts to it. So you can mount this on the wall of some sort of camper. You can mount it in the back of your truck um, to some sort of battery box. Whatever you wanna do, you can actually hard mount this. So that's pretty cool. Now in the rest of the video, I wanna do some actual testing to see how this works, see if it works as advertised. And then I'm gonna take this on a five day camping trip to see if this will power all my DC loads. So let's jump into the testing. Now when we go camping as a family, we like to keep it simple. So I'm just gonna run a few basic tests here. To test the USB-C power delivery, I plugged in the EcoFlow River 2. We're charging at 37 watts, so just a little bit under the 45 watt limit. I plugged in a USB fan and it's running just fine off the regular USB port. And I'm also charging this portable lantern. This has an 18650 battery in it. It's from Phoenix, it's the CL25R. We use this as a night light for our girls when we're camping. So that is charging up just fine. Now, what about our larger DC loads that we'll be running on this hub? Well, this is a longer trip, so I will be bringing the Iceco VL60 Pro. I also like to bring this O2 Cool or Tiva fan, so it runs on 12 volts. It's a really powerful fan. And then I also bring this small little air pump to blow up our air mattress. So let's go ahead and turn these on, see if they work. Now I've gone ahead and connected up the three large devices to the DC hub, starting with this fan here. Now it's meant to run off batteries here in the bottom that are put in series to nine volts. So this is a nine volt fan, but I've been running this off 12 volts for six plus years and over volting it has not caused any damage. Now there is a setting here on the side. So low is on the bottom. And then if you go up, you can go to high on the top and then middle is off this thing moves a ton of air. Now I'm powering this through a 5521 connection to a 12 volt cigarette plug. And uh, I just found that adapter online and it works really well. Now, as for the next device, this is our air pump that we use to pump up our air mattress. Uh, just turning this on, it pulls around two amps. So not much power at all. So yeah, pumping up an air mattress is easy with that. And then I've also had the Iceco VL60 Pro just running on eco mode in the background. Now I have that plugged in via a 5521 connection because it's much more secure than an actual cigarette plug. So as long as this doesn't pull a ton of power, which in eco mode, it pulls around 35 watts, the 5521 connection is just fine for that. Now what I wanna do next is power all these devices on at the same time to see how much power we're gonna be pulling. Now this hub is rated for 40 amps continuous input output. However, the stock cable that comes with this that I've connected up the battery, that's 15 feet long, is only rated for 20 amps. Now they do provide an additional adapter so you can build your own cabling. Just keep in mind, the stock cable is rated for 20 amps. So does all this powered on at the same time pull over 20 amps? Let's test it out. Now with all the devices running at the same time, we pulled a total of 9.5 amps. That's well under the 40 amp limit of the device itself and the 20 amp limit of the cable. Now, will I be running all this all at the same time? Most likely not. I'll most likely just be running the 12 volt fridge 24 seven and then the other devices on and off as needed. Well, now that I've done some basic testing, let's go ahead and pack this all up and I'll see you guys in the mountains. Okay, so we're up in the mountains. It's actually day four of five. So I've been using the DC hub for a while. So I thought I'd show you guys how it works and our setup here. So I have the Ocotel 200 watt solar panel right here. And uh, that's my brother's camp. This is our, actually our camp over here. So we have this nice canopy with our chairs and a small kitchen setup for drinks and kind of preparing food. Now on this trip, we did bring the North Face six person tent. Now we really like this tent because it has this large vestibule or what we call the garage. Now for a camping trip this big, we kind of bring a lot of stuff just so we're comfortable with the kids. Uh, smaller camping trip, we would not bring all this stuff, but 
we brought the Iceco VL60 Pro. It's been working really well. And to power that, I have the Power Queen 200 amp hour battery back there with the solar charge controller. So I'll show you guys that set up here in a second, but I wanna jump in and show you guys the DC hub. So here's a closer look at the DC hub. You can see we're sitting at 13.9 volts. I really like the large voltmeter on the display. The battery's almost full, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that solar panel in a minute. Now these are the devices that we run off the hub. Remember, we just keep it super simple while camping. We have the 12 volt fan and the sound machine that we run during my daughter's naps. I also am charging up one of our lanterns for night and my cell phone to take pictures. Now I have no complaints about this. Uh, it's worked really well. Now I really like how long the extension cable is. Now the power comes through over there and it's kind of wound up over here. And this is where we have it currently. Now I have pulled it over there by the pack and play so that it's closer with the sound machine and the fan. But uh, like I said, very simple. I'm very impressed with its performance. Now to power everything on this trip, including our 12 volt fridge and gadgets, I have this 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Power Queen. And to charge that up, I brought this Abso Kisei dual charger. So it's a solar charge controller and a DC to DC charger. So I can charge my battery in the back of the truck if needed. Now plugged into that, I have a 200 watt panel running off this 12-2 extension cable. It's about 35 feet long and it comes around the tent. And my solar panel is sitting right there in the sun. Now we only get sun in the mornings and it's plenty of sun to charge up this large battery. And then by the time the next day comes around, it only needs about two hours of charge with that 200 watt panel. Now this door right here is usually closed. So this is a weather tight area. So I don't worry about any of these electronics. Now the DC hub comes through the tent door right here and it has their two ring terminals that connect to the positive and negative. So very simple connection. Now to connect up my fridge and charge controller, I've modded this battery to have a dual Anderson power pole connection. So my fridge right there, the power cable comes through, connects into this, and then the charge controller also plugs into the second connection, just makes it really simple. Now this is the solar panel that I decided to bring on this trip. This is the Ocotel 200 watt panel. Now I've been seeing it's consistent 10 amps into the battery, so that's decent. And I have my wire here going up and around the tent. Now this is pretty much the only sun that we get throughout the entire day, just a couple hours in the morning. And this is plenty of uh, sun to charge up my battery because the fridge doesn't use that much power. So a 200 watt panel powering a fridge, uh, you only need a couple hours a day to top off that battery. As long as your battery is big enough. I think I could have gotten away with a 100 amp hour battery, but I brought the 200 amp hour battery just in case. 24 hours later. So I'm here on the final day of our camping trip and I thought I'd give you guys a few final thoughts about the DC hub from Redodo as I've used it the entire trip. Now it's actually worked really well. I haven't had any issues with it. And this is kind of a good decent uh, alternative to a power station if you already have a standalone battery. For example, you just connect this up to your battery and you get all the connections that you would on a power station, except this does not charge up your battery. You will have to have a standalone charge controller. The other benefit to this DC hub is that you get a full 40 amps output as this has a 40 amp fuse in it. So you can definitely get more power than actually using the DC output on a power station. Now there are so many different ways to use this. I could mount this in the back of my truck to use it while truck camping. Basically the options are endless. So I'd love to get your guys' feedback. What do you guys think about this hub? Would you guys use this camping or would you just prefer using an actual power station? Throw a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the basic camping setup that I had for this trip. I'll be going on another trip later this summer with a different setup. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.